What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. The bros. We're gonna ding off. <laughs> The bros finna ding. This is a little, um, this is a little celebratory aux chord moment here. Yeah, we finally have a working aux chord, mm-hmm. so we can actually play shit. Yeah. now and react to it. Yeah. Next step is setting up one of these monitors or some shit like a TV. I'm sorry, I sound like I'm talking through a, a swamp here. I'm like, I'm like sick. Talking through a swamp. I don't know. I'm a, is a thing of a shitty metaphor for like just. Yeah. Yeah. Now when I say Google, it sounds like Boogle. <laughs> <laughs> I was making fun of Alina for that. She was sick as hell. She's like, I'll do the Boogle it. <laughs> Kelsey sounds exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Alina sick right now? No. Oh, okay. No, she's good. No, Kelsey, dude, I can't sleep right now because Kelsey sounds like a pug in the middle of the night. <laughs> she's just... <laughs> I'm like, I, it, like I'm, I get like frustrated. I wake up and I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, every girl wants a French bulldog until they have to sleep with that. Yeah, in exactly, the house. exactly, exactly. Yo, it feels fucking good to be back, man. It does, yeah. It feels good to be back. Tour was dope. Shout Tour out to- Tour was insane. Everybody who came through. It was crazy. Uh, Honestly, felt like it was only four days. I know. It was so short. I know. It's almost like we just started last week. It's I know. Just, it's crazy. But it actually was. Thank you to everyone that came mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. I and wanna, I want to go back to San Francisco so bad. Even dude, though that that's shit was, where I got sick. Yeah. That shit was That was the best show. Amazing. The late the late show in San Francisco was the best. I think you had more fun that show, but <laughs> why? Dude, oh, that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell the fucking story. Yeah. So um I get real bad anxiety lately. So and because of what I'm about to tell you, I've just cut out caffeine. Like I haven't had coffee since we got back. Really? Is yeah. it helping? Yeah. I'm, and staying away from it is like so far felt pretty good. I might have to do that too. Yeah. So um, as you guys know, we're doing two shows a night. And I don't really think we anticipated by the time we got to San Francisco how tired we were we would be. Yeah. Like I think we were pretty exhausted. I knew we were going to be tired, but not like that, that was like a special kind of yeah. like holy. Like there's something about like adrenaline spiking in your body mm-hmm. and then crashing repeatedly yep. every night yep. that just fucking wears your body out. Yep. It's just like, yep. And, and so we're, you know, we got good energy, but you know, the first show, first show went really well. Um, <laughs> it was rowdy as fuck. Yeah, if you were in that were. first show, you guys wouldn't <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you guys are rowdy than a motherfucker. <laughs> we got on stage and it was like a just, minute and a half later. All right, stop clapping, please. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good problem to have. Yeah, no, uh, we're we're grateful for that issue. But it was really funny because one girl was going nuts, and the moment we told him to be quiet, it was like she was in math class. She started yawning and like going on her phone <laughs> yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think like the earlier shows, because it's weird when people like have just seen daylight and then yeah. they come into this dark venue, but they're like. Mm-hmm. Their body, like they know it's still day. Yeah. So they're like talkative and whatever. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Even though the energy was the same between the two shows, they were different. People were way less talkative in the later show. Yeah. It was like more. Like it's weird. The the show mm-hmm. portion is more. Like you believe that it's a show. Yeah. More at night for some reason. During the day, you're like, oh no, this is an interactive thing. Yeah. And I think it's easier to get into. Like after like the day's over. Yeah. And like you're just. Chill. I think it's more like people have had their day. And they're like, I just want to chill. Yeah. So whatever. We're in the green room and I'm really tired and I'm like having trouble like, um, you know, just staying awake. And so my dumb ass, I'm like, all right, let me hit a Red Bull. And knowing that in the past that has not been good for me. So now, I, this is this is Noel's hitting a Red Bull. This is what he does. <laughs> He opens it, he takes two sips, and then he offers it to the rest of the people. <laughs> like, you offered me the rest of the Red Bull, yeah. and I was like, I, I have one in my hand right yeah. now. Yeah. What am I going to do? Have two of them? <laughs> because your pussy ass can't finish the whole Red Bull. It doesn't take much. So, I, <laughs> so dude, I took, I sipped it twice, I put it down, and I wasn't really feeling it, and we're about to go on, so I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, so I, like, down a bunch. Like, I, I take, like, a bunch more, and Alina's like... I don't think that's a good idea. And I'm like, nah, fuck it. It's going to do because I'm just stubborn. And we were popping M&Ms too. Oh, yeah. 
going like, super hard, popping those things like they were Molly. <laughs> Just, so <laughs> I ate so many goddamn M and M's. Yeah, that was probably the best part of the rider. Yeah, yeah. So then we're about to go on stage, and I feel my adrenaline spike. And then I start to feel the caffeine and just the Red Bull. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is good. So then we get on stage. We're cool. We're like 15 minutes in. And all of a sudden, my face just like starts getting cold. <laughs> you know, it was like 30 minutes in. Was it 30? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It was we, were, we were like on the second half of the show. That's why I was like, all right, so if we get to like 45, 50 minutes, I know I sh- you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe like time was just weird in yeah. my head. So anyway, I start like my face starts getting cold. And I'm like trying to acknowledge it in the show, which I think was a bad idea, but I don't know. It was making me feel better. Mm. So I'm like, oh, I can't feel my fucking face. Like trying to be funny it was about funny. it. People laughed at that. Okay. So, like, He's yeah, dying. He's dying for oh sure. Oh my God. So then I'm up there and Alina was like, I feel so bad because she's like, I couldn't enjoy the show because I started doing all these things that I've done when I've had real bad like panic attacks. Yeah. So I kept rubbing my ears. And so she leaned over to Kelsey and she was like, oh, he can't feel his face right now. And then I'm like clicking my jaw because I'm like trying to like put the feeling back in my face and I'm like trying to like just breathe. And then I'm like my fingers, I'm just like trying to slow them down. I'm trying to slow down my movement. And then like my body starts getting real cold and I start feeling like kind of numb. And so I remember like you were telling jokes and shit and you look back at me and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. This, and this is in front of 350 people. <laughs> yeah. Like it's packed yeah. and it's silent. And because it, it, I remember like it switched to one of your portions. I finished mine yeah. and I was like, what about you? How was college for you? Yeah. Which is like, basically that was a part of the show that consisted of like Noel talking alone for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, man, <clears throat> And you kind of like like coughed into the mic a little bit, yeah, and like did one of these. Like, <clears throat> college was like, <laughs> and like moving your head weird. College was fine, man. And you were saying like what you're supposed to be saying, but I was like, what what is he doing? Like, yeah, what? my body it language was really was... uncomfortable. It was almost like those fucking sh- stupid burps you get after you eat. Yeah, Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, you were doing that shit, <laughs> rubbing your ears and fuck. I was like, oh, dude, he's in a weird place right now. Yeah, so and it was weird because it was like that. It, the show was going so well. Yep, that was like. I, I just feel like that's the last place you should you should have felt panic and I was like, oh yep. fuck. Like yep. Yep. But it's always when you least expect that yeah. shit. Yeah. Well I'm and I think like I was an idiot. I, I really regretted that because like I, I I was fine, but my body language was off. So I feel like some people like maybe I took them out of it by being that way. So then like what I started doing was pounding water on stage. Yeah. And then that kind of like evened it out. I think I drank like five water bottles mm-hmm. in like the span of like yeah. 20 minutes. That shit at the end was so funny. Yeah. Some girl in the Q&A is like, um, Noel, I just want to ask if you're okay because you've drank like eight water bottles. <laughs> and the whole audience. Yeah. I said, like, I, like erupted in laughter. Yeah. And then I said something about like, oh, I get anxiety attacks or something, but I'm, but I'm fine. And then just a, a sea of whoever was just like, we love you. <laughs> I'm like, well, don't bring it back. That's the beautiful <laughs> thing about that audience, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, crowd yeah, is It was great. Dope. It was yeah. like any time, any time, like, jokes, like, weren't hitting or whatever, all we had to do is say, sugar gay, and everyone was like, <laughs> yeah, woo! <laughs> so shout out to y'all for that. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. Almost everyone at every single show was a listener of the podcast. Yeah, which was a fucking fire. Um, That's really cool. Yeah. And shout out to all our Patreoners. In the crowd. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. Y'all were the minority. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keeping it going, bro. It was yeah. fucking fun, man. Yeah. I want to do it again so bad. Yeah. I, I want to go back there so bad. Yeah. And I think it'd be cooler to just do bigger venues. Yeah. Like I could do back to back again, but it would be dope to just yeah. have everybody. We like, got to we gotta do a tour bus. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just hope one day that is actually like economically viable for yeah, us. Like same. Get a fucking tour bus and do an actual bus tour. That's got to be like, that's the American dream, dude. Oh, for sure. Doing a tour, like a bus tour, that is the American dream. Yeah, even if it was like a leg of the tour. Yeah. It was like we did a couple stops and it's like, all right, you're going to do five stops in like a, a general area. Yeah. You're going to have a bus for five days. Yeah. yeah. That'd be the shit. Yeah. No, but this was our schedule. It was like, wake up like like whatever, 6, 37 a.m., pack the shit. Yep. We had all of our merch that we had to bring everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> pack all the shit, Uber to the airport, take a flight, you know, an hour and a half, whatever yeah. flight, land, go to the hotel, get like 10 minutes of sleep, <laughs> wake up, go to the venue, sound check, then just sit around for an hour while the doors open. Yeah. Just hear people filing in, do the show, meet with the VIPs in between for like an hour and a half, 
wait for another hour, go back on at 9.30 and do the show till 11. And yeah. then pack up all the merch and everything. Go and so we usually get back to the hotel by 12.30, yep. fall asleep by 1.00. Wake up at seven, take a flight, do the exact same thing for yeah. four days straight. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, it was rinse repeat. And I think by that last show, I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah, and and by the, I think you, by San Francisco, we were like napping way more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, dude, you got to give it up to like bands that tour for like a month. I know, dude. That I, I get it now. Yeah, I get what the tour life thing is. Yeah. Like, we were joking about it, but seriously, like, I was thinking, like, fuck, if we had to do like another week of that, yeah. I think I'd just be like physically deceased. Yeah. There's yeah. no way like we could have made videos or, like any of that like yeah. without some sort of help. Like that was pretty. It caught up to me. Like the Monday that we got back, I f- or the the Monday after we got back, I felt fine. Yeah, and was like pretty energetic during the day. Woke up like relatively early, and then that night, <laughs> threw on some new girl. Yeah, I fucking passed out on the couch <laughs> at 8 p.m. <laughs> Slept for like two hours while new girl was playing. Woke up. Yeah. And like felt like I got hit, hit by a bus and then couldn't fall asleep <laughs> again I've been, after that. I think it's been catching up to me just like even feeling sick because I've been, you know, I've been lifting pretty hard. Oh, great. <laughs> I feel, actually, the good thing about the tour as well was I didn't have as much volume as, of food. Mm-hmm. So I kind of leaned out a little bit. Oh, really? But it's like inspired me to change my diet. So yeah. I'm like, I'm happy with that too. All right. But yeah, yeah, since I got back, I'm like, I need to fucking ether this gut, bro. Oh, you're cutting now. Yeah, a little bit. Really? A little bit. Damn. Yeah. So you're off the carbs? I'm trying to be okay. I remember I got in the I got in the elevator one day after the gym, and some dude was like, "Yo, man, you like want to go to Chipotle?" The guy's like, "No, off the carbs, man." <laughs> the guy's like, "What? What are you eating then? Just <laughs> just meat?" He's like, "Lot of vegetables." And the dude's like, "Yeah, it doesn't sound like fun." <laughs> like, like didn't didn't congratulate it's not him fun at all. No, it, it it doesn't seem like it. I don't know. It's funny because tour did the exact opposite to me i'm <laughs> eating the worst i've eaten in like the past wait bro three months we have to tell them how much okay like you know how like when you when it's late night and maybe you get out of something like a bar whatever you're feeling good you're like man i just want some shitty ass food like yeah. so the first night in phoenix we're like yo let's get some fucking mcdonald's like that just sounds right mm-hmm. first one we pull up to in the uber closed mm-hmm. Cody's like, all right. I'm like, like, when does a fucking McDonald's close? <laughs> right, right. And it wasn't even that late. Yeah. It was like 11 30, 12. Was, yeah. And so like, all the lights were on too. Yeah. It looked like some employee was just like, yeah, tonight I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to fuck so many people's <laughs> nights up. And <laughs> even our, close without telling our, anyone. our Uber driver was like, that guy was funny, heavier dude. And even he was like, man, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he's like, what? How? Close. He's like yelling at the thing. He's like, hey, hello. Hello, yeah. <laughs> y'all go home. Yeah. So then Cody's like, "All right, I'll, I'll just Uber eats this shit," and he puts he puts in an order. It's being kind of weird. We're about to go to sleep, and then he gets a fucking call from like wherever the hell. Hi, Cody. <laughs> Yo, I'm contacting you from Uber. <laughs> We're like, bro, it's like one. <laughs> And he's like, and then, then the Uber driver calls us. He's like, I'm outside. It's closed. This is the fifth time this has happened to me. We're yeah. like, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, I was like, figure it out, man. <laughs> Cody. Why are you stressing me out about this shit? Dude, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing the delivery time for Uber Eats. <laughs> just go Like, up. pass and then go up <laughs> and then go up and then go up. And then like, because there's just no information. <laughs> yeah. You're like, where are you in the process? It's McDonald's. <laughs> are you just making like a burger really slowly? <laughs> Dude's, like if it's what a fucking sloth is in there, like not nah. <laughs> dude stare. slowly putting the cheese on the like it doesn't take forty five minutes to get McDonald's that's three blocks away. <laughs> dude staring at the microwave and the Uber driver's right there and he's like, one more minute. Nah, I'm in, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get started in a minute. Hold up, bro. So anyway, they end up being closed. Cody just goes to sleep. I get like Jack in the Box or something, and that was like. I'm like eating like Jack in the Box chicken nuggets. I've never felt like so depressed. Oh like, yeah, at one thirty in a in a if, in a you know what were we in a comfort in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, I felt like I was rebounding off a relationship. Yeah. Like the like like my ex walked in. I'm like, oh, hey. Yeah. So I see you. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't her, man. It's not the same. <laughs> and then in San Francisco, we got some, but like it was Uber Eats again. That, yeah. What happened is like that inspired. <laughs> us to eat McDonald's every day almost as revenge yeah I'm like I now because this didn't work out so poorly 
<laughs> I need this to work out at least six times yeah, to make up yeah. for this shit. And I didn't. I don't hold it against McDonald's. No, I hold it shit. against. I don't even know. It's shitty. It's a fucking universe or something. I'm like, I'm gonna. I'm you know, because I didn't get to eat McDonald's this one time at one a.m. I'm gonna eat. It I'm now gonna eat times. it for a week straight and enjoy the <laughs> fuck out of it every time. So, bro, here's the icing on the cake for me. Because I'm still not done. Uh-huh. I still even haven't had my one good McDonald's nut. Okay. So we do this, you know, then the night of the final show, I pull into McDonald's and lo and behold, who pulls in behind me? Yep. This motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> so, dude, I'm like, I'm like, ooh, it's, oh, it's time to go in. I'm like, I want 20 nuggets. I want this. I want that. I go the fuck off. We get home, open up that bag, no sweet and sour. I'm like exhausted. But I was about to get on a hoverboard and just Bro. <laughs> just go right down to that McDonald's and fucking swing Fight on somebody. that. Yeah. Swing on that 100%. motherfucker. I was so pissed. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what is at stake here? <laughs> I just had a very hard tour. <laughs> He's like, get the fuck out of my face, dog. I've been on tour for four days. Four, count okay. it. Not three, four. not two. <laughs> right here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Um, dude, actually speaking of that. So when I pulled in behind you, yeah, uh, like waiting for them for, to forget the sweet and sour sauce <laughs> for you <laughs> waiting in the drive through line, I get a DM from my buddy. He, I had, I met up with him like a couple weeks ago and he was like, by the way, dude, that Russ video was super funny. And I was like, oh, thanks man. He's like, I, I actually know Russ's manager. <laughs> Should I ask him if he's seen the video? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, don't make yeah. it weird. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like just. Don't like, don't yeah. be like, yo, Cody wanted to know, man. Like, don't like push it. You know what I'm saying? Because if he hasn't seen it, it's probably better. Yeah. You know, I'm not like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to be nice. But it's like, we have this video tearing him to yeah, shreds. Just so it's like, shit out of yeah. Him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd be lying if I said I, I didn't want him to see it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Of course. And so I, I was like, yeah, don't make it weird, but like maybe ask him if it, <laughs> if it comes up naturally or whatever. <laughs> so then like two weeks later, I'm waiting in line behind Noel at the McDonald's drive through and I get a screenshot from this dude. It's a screenshot of a conversation with Russ's manager. And he's like, yo, have you guys seen this video? <laughs> Sends him our video. And he goes, his manager goes, oh, yeah, yeah, we both watched that. Russ didn't find the humor in it. <laughs> But it sounds like he did. Because yeah. <laughs> he wasn't pissed. Yeah. He just said, Russ didn't find the humor in like, it. But LOL. low key, though, <laughs> shit that <bangs>. shit was- <laughs> Hey, Russ, quit playing, baby. Get on the podcast. <laughs> so now we know that Russ has seen that video. And and that makes me, that makes me pretty happy. Bro. I like that he didn't see the humor. Most He's like the one guy. Everyone else. Yeah. People kept asking at the live shows, like, you know, do do people like reach out when you make fun of them? Yeah. And uh, yeah, like every single person has. <laughs> and they've all been like really, really cool about it. Like usually people actually see the funny parts of the video as well. Like Jay yeah. Alvarez was like, dude, this actually is really, really funny. He's yeah. like, I like, um, you know, I know you roasted me or whatever, but it's actually they really, really funny. They can appreciate it. And, yeah. And they understand yeah, yeah. the point you're trying to make. Yeah. And, and I think what's also cool about that is like in a non like shitty way, they might look, they might see your angle on it. And then it might make their shit better. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, okay, I can present it differently. Yeah. So, like, there is a positive that can yeah. come out of it. Yeah. But it's hilarious. Yeah, that Russ, like, watched Russ that Russ is shit. the one guy that watched <laughs> that like, and was like, man, this isn't funny. I don't see it. Nah. It's not funny. Just that bullshit. Yeah. Yo, how, I, do, I don't see you. <laughs> how fire would it be? Man. <laughs> man. I don't, I don't know about these guys, man. I don't see you Actually, that's more Takashi 69. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> no, he's like, yo, listen, listen, listen. Listen, yeah. okay, <laughs> Lou, right? Okay, so <laughs> I'm Takashi Six Nine, right? I'm the hottest thing out right now. <laughs> I'm the king of New York. I'm the king of the New king York. King of New York. No, listen, listen, right? Here, I'll be Charlemagne. So, are uh, hey, listen, uh, sh- sh- so are you hey, sh- sh- Charlemagne? Are you Charlemagne? Pedophile? Charlemagne? Charlemagne? Listen, I'm the hottest side of New York, right? Okay. <laughs> Before me, who was really doing it in New York? Nobody. Text on my phone. Hold up. <laughs> That's a great impression, <laughs> bro. That's a great that impression, Char- bro. Did you watch that whole interview? No, Charlemagne. I refuse, man. I refuse. He said like nothing. Like, who? He was, he was, Charlemagne. Yeah, because he he just sits there with this face. Yeah, because 
Because, dude, and it was funny because I saw Jesus and Mero talk about it, and they're like, Charlemagne's like showing like growth. Mm-hmm. Like five years ago, Charlemagne would have like been on his ass, but he was just sitting there like. <laughs> and then like Takashi says something, and he's like acting up, and he's getting a little too confident. Yeah, then Charlemagne goes, it's, Hey, so what's up, man? You a pedophile? Or. <laughs> I love when he does that, man. Just out of it's nowhere. Just, just left out of hook. nowhere. Just bam. Yeah. So what's good? Are you a sex? Are you goes? Are you registered sex offender? Didn't he ask that question? <laughs> yeah. He's like, so what's up, man? You a registered sex offender? <laughs> and then, and then imagine and that. Then just like that's a small talk. <laughs> it wasn't even because it's six nine. He just says that, like you know, when he's on dates. <laughs> Yo, by the way, are you a registered sex offender? <laughs> Just like totally wondering. It's just like a random cue. <laughs> I ask kind of everyone that. So, bro, also 6ix9ine said, he's like, if it wasn't for this, I would never heard of you. Bullshit. Yeah, I know. Bullshit. I know. I thought that was kind of funny. So I'm like, it's it's funny for someone to come in here with rainbow hair and just absolutely disrespect Charlemagne on yeah. his own show. Yeah. But like, because Charlemagne is like kind of like disrespected you, a lot of people on his show too, it's kind of yeah. like, it's kind of funny. But you can't out. Charlemagne, Charlemagne. No, you can't. I yeah. know. He's just gonna be. He's, <laughs> he's just gonna just be like. Gonna, oh, he was like a. He was like. I have a nationally syndicated radio show. And <laughs> Takashi was like. He was you like. Gotta, so so you so got, you saying you got a so you saying so you got a you got what a, were you saying you got like a, a, a nationally nationally, what? nationally syncopated <laughs> uh, a TV thing or what did you say? It's Producer? cool, bro. I don't do nothing. And he, yeah, <laughs> that's what he said. He's like, I'm not even gonna try and explain <laughs> this to you. It's, it's cool, bro. I don't yeah. do nothing. And it was funny because like that interview, Charlemagne was like weirdly positive too. Really? No, I think most people were expecting him to like get on his ass. Yeah. And his whole point was like, like, like he wasn't even really like clowning Takashi. He was like, Man, don't you think like people get angry because of the shit you say? Like, don't you feel like you bring that on yourself a little bit? Mm-hmm. Takashi's just like, no, no, no. I let my nuts hang. I'm gangster. <laughs> And Charlemagne's like, yeah, but like, why? Like, what's the <laughs> point? Like, like, kind of just being like, it's kind of, it's true, man. Though. Yeah, he's and he was like, he's like, and then so then he's like, I think you're gonna get caught up, just like very casual. Then Takashi's like, why? I haven't yet. He's like, it might not happen tomorrow. Yeah, but I mean, you've happen. only been big for like six months. Yeah, like yeah. if you keep talking shit, Dude. like some dude's gonna shoot you. Bro, you know, Rob Stone laid out X. At his show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, some funny shit like that could happen. And then Takashi was talking about, like, if I'm the artist, I'm not going to perform at the venue, can't ensure my safety, and and it's going to be a setup, and I'm not going to get... Because he was talking about this whole situation where he showed up to the show, got paid, but didn't perform. Mm. And it's because he saw people talking about they were going to shoot him on stage. And he's like, why don't you get them off stage? And they weren't off stage. But it's a little bit like... If you're talking all that shit, like... God, that's got to be a red flag. <laughs> yeah. You know? But then he, like, he disclosed the amount, like, he got for that show, and I was like, that's not enough, bro, to, How like... How much did he get? It was, like, 50K or something. Like, it, it's not enough to, like, be talking that loud, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, like, skate. It's like, why? Just do the music thing. Yeah. And, like, capitalize on what you've got. Yeah. You don't, I don't know why. Like, no one really likes you for the gangster shit. Right. You know, I mean, the videos are kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Like him. Yeah. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but that's a- even getting a little bit tired. It's like every single music video. All right. You're. Yeah. There's 100 people. There's 100 street. bloods behind you. Yep. I don't know, man. When, when, but when, <laughs> when people got, like, active charges and stuff, their music is fucking hard. Like, <laughs> I- <laughs> It's horrible. It's fucking horrible. I was bumping the new X. I'm like, this shit goes. I, but God damn it. Like, <laughs> did he really punch these women? Like, fuck. There's an article. Uh, there was an article in like Fader or something. Yeah, they're talking about. about how, and I was kind of thinking like now, is is this like, it's weird. It's like a new, it's like a new like moral issue that people are facing. Right. And it, I don't know if it's like been like that in the past. I don't, I don't Because th- I feel like with labels and shit. It's like if you're like a convicted sex offender, Mm -hmm. like in the past, labels were really the only way to promote music, right? yeah. yeah. So there was like a middleman. Yeah. Someone could be like, this dude's really fucked up. We're not going to work with him. Right. And then you just, your chances of succeeding anywhere outside of the underground, sorry to interrupt, but are are low, right? Yeah. Nowadays, it's like these dudes, as long as they're putting out good music. They can get play. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like back then, a label could be like, all right, you're too gangster. Who who can rap almost as good as you in the middle? Mm. Who doesn't have a charge yet? Yeah, and it's like oh my boy, Lil Young in that. And it's mm. like okay, you can feature on his records, yeah, yeah. and he'll be the fucking face of the shit. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, 
He's just, <laughs> it's fucked up, man. But then, like, I like I, I kind of checked myself the other day. I'm like, I can't act too righteous because, like, I bumped the shit out of little, like, little Reese to today. Mm-hmm. And there's a full and there's on. There's a video of that dude. <laughs> there's a full, full on punching fade. a woman. No, that's a full fade right there. I could not believe that <laughs> I shit. Like, I, I watched that. I was like, this this is a straight up, this is a bad guy. Yeah. He's a bad dude. Yeah. You watch that video, that's, you see some, like, that's evil, yeah. man. Like, he, yeah. you could tell at the start of that video, he was trying, like, he was looking for something mm-hmm. fucked up to do. Bro, or like, how about the three rappers that have dissed him and they just die within a few weeks after? Yeah, man. And you still turn up that shit like, we ain't really with that talking bitch. We bout that action. Yeah. You're like, yeah, he means it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up. Um, dude, while we're uh while we're talking about rappers, I didn't fucking realize I was looking at the Billboard top one hundred songs right now. Yeah. No, might have been in hip hop actually. Yeah. XXX has seven Billboard charting songs right now. That's so crazy. Maybe I think it's in hip hop. Yeah, it must so be, crazy. right? Yeah. It wouldn't be wouldn't be like global seven songs and the number one album yeah seven fucking songs people don't realize how big he is yeah he's he huge. is like global like yeah. he's huge everywhere yeah i was looking on like like okay for example takashi right yeah he's probably like the biggest like most talked about rapper right now in the states mm-hmm. he's got six million monthly listeners on spotify mm-hmm. i think something like that yep xxx has 18 million yeah or 16 million something yeah. like that he's got two million less than taylor swift <clears throat> It's insane. How fucking insane is that? Yeah. He's huge. I dude, I have a total conflict. I like I avoided his last album. So I'm like, I can't oh. Me too. If he's just knocking if he's just knocking women out, I can't I know. I can't fuck with that. I know. And now like I I've dabbled in a few tracks. I'm like, man. <laughs> I know. People are like I think that that article was called You Don't Have to Listen to Like Morally Questionable Rappers. And I'm like, but the music's so fucking good. <laughs> What do you do? Because they don't. When that shit comes on, skip, I guess. But it's man, <laughs> someone's gonna play it at something, and you're gonna be sitting there like bobbing your head. I mean, oh fuck, it's like you can't, you can't listen to that. You can't watch anything made by Miramax or the, yeah. or the no Weinstein Tarantino company. movies. Yeah, yeah, fuck, dude, <laughs> can't never watch Kill Bill again. <laughs> exactly, man. It's like here. Speaking of. Kill Bill. So there's this rapper. Wait, my screen went dim and yeah. I'm afraid. Oh, look. Fucking A, bro. All right. So this stupid shit, this is just more growing pains. Basically, we got to just fucking hire someone. <laughs> we do. So, yeah. I know. I, so, it's just getting to the point where it's like more. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> quick cut here. Um, my camera, not my camera, my computer, like. Again. Again. Whatever. We lost half an hour, probably. No, it wasn't that long. It wasn't? You nah. sure? Yeah, it was like 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> anyway, we were talking about some shit, and I think we'll just set off this second half of the of, of the sh- of the show with um, a nice little song I found. Okay. All right? This is one you can play when you feel like, you know, and this is not gender specific. I mean, the lyrics sound it, but you can be, you can be anyone and play this song. Um, if you ever feel like someone is uh, testing you, testing your gangster. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Someone testing your gangster? <laughs> right? You you play this song. Okay. Okay? <laughs> we got to talk over this so it doesn't get yeah, copyrighted. Oh yeah. Thanks for calling Shake Shack. <laughs> One of our hot burger boys will be with you in just a second. <laughs> hot burger boy? <laughs> well, knowing the name of the song. I don't know when the good shit comes in. You just play this. I'm fucking sh- vibing. It feels yeah. like I'm at a damn fucking aerobics class. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is some hey, soul cycle shit. Hey. Hey. No, this is like Zumba. Respect the cock. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he says respect the cock. The so you fuck? just. So you can just like dance for like 30 seconds <laughs> in front of your boss and then just casually. <laughs> the cock. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Hey, baby. Wait, let me, I'm gonna I'm I'm throw some on. Let me set the mood a little bit. Respect, Respect the, co- the cock. <laughs> and you're just fucking <laughs> doing the wiener helicopter <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> Man, you're so beautiful. Listen, before we go any further, <laughs> let me put on some music, all right? Okay. All Bro, right, the- just stay right there. <laughs> oh, wow. Just staring at her. 
Oh wow, this is cool. Respect the cock. Okay, oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Bro, that song. Holy shit. I'm fucking gay, huh? <laughs> the group name is Fats and Small. <laughs> I know. Or Small. PH Fats. That's Fats really and funny. Smalls. We yeah. missed the, we now we didn't we didn't have the gay the gay mob boss. Um no. We got that. No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. It was all after the cut. Oh, damn it. I know. Whatever. That's a that's a character, you know. Comes around every once in a while, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> we we're just we we're talking in the last episode about like <laughs> the, Venga the Venga Boys, Boys video. <laughs> They had like a gay dude, or like it was the role was supposed to be a gay dude, and they the just most cast a straight guy. Unconvincing gay dude. <laughs> 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 and action. What do you got? It? Boobs? <laughs> I fucking hate boobs. Gross. Didn't anybody tell you? Couple, couple of big supple breasts. Ugh. Ugh. Get those things out of my mouth. You remind me of my mother. <laughs> I hate my mother. But you know what I like? Like me a big old man, because I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck dicks all day. <laughs> all day long. Cut. <laughs> don't You don't have to, like, talk about... <laughs> just sell it more. Like, oh, okay. Body language and right. stuff. Right, sell it more, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Got I, it? Could, I could sell it. All right, yeah, we got yeah. this time. We got this yeah. time. Ready? Yeah, I'm an actor. Okay, let's go. Action. I'm gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good? <laughs> Looks to camera. Was that good? Don't look into the camera. Cut. <laughs> Cut. No. Some gay guy in the back. I, I would never. No one would ever say that. <laughs> no one would ever say. Oh, okay. Right. I'm sorry. My apology. I'm just, you know, I'm still learning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Still learning. Okay. Still learning. Okay. okay. You're right. fine. You're fine. We'll, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. We're fine. We'll try a couple. No, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> and action. I like dudes a lot. <laughs> Get all these girls out of here. <laughs> uh, go, go <laughs> Just a weird Gross. Tom, <laughs> gross. A weird Tommy Wiseau. Ugh. Disgusting. Get all the girls out of here. <laughs> There's too many girls in here. I'm fucking gay, huh? <laughs> Who else is gay in here, huh? <laughs> Let's suck each other's dicks. <laughs> Yeah, more boys. That's what I like. <laughs> Holy shit. Cut, cut, cut. Oh. I just... Just don't say anything. Okay. Got it. Okay? All right. Okay, I can do that. All Good. Right. All right. Action. I want to spank that one. <laughs> that one is... <laughs> Slap him right on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> because he's a guy and that's what I'm into, you know. <laughs> Just gave him a Louisville right across the <laughs> right across the butt cheeks. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, I had So a that's the kid. That's, <laughs> that's the guy. The un unconvincing <laughs> gay dude. Straight, just straight gay dude. Yeah, yeah. Unconvincing gay dude. Oh, dude, I'm crying. Holy shit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah. fuck. I'm glad. We I'm actually, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that this ended because. Right, right, right. Now we that, can that, get uh, that bit. That was great. Holy yep. shit. Um, <laughs> Speaking of uh, stupid ass thoughts, I had like a. A, a dumb thought. So will Lele Pons? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you get it? What? Stupid ass thoughts. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, Zinger. Hey. Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> I, had a, I had a dumb thought the other day. Her <clears throat> name's Lele Pons. <laughs> uh, thank you, Uncle Noel. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know what sucks hard but good at the same time? A vacuum. My ex-wife. <laughs> I don't have any more bad puns. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, so I had a stupid thought the other day. Yeah. Um, if it were possible, I'd like to to have like a one on one interview with the sperm I beat. Okay. Like the like whoever was number two. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I want to see if they were better than me or shittier than me. This is just, this is just high. Yeah, high, yeah, high. yeah. This is the moment in the show. Yeah, yeah. where we get we got. Yeah. Oh, welcome to High Thoughts <laughs> with Noel. Yo, I saw. A dude. I want to talk to the sperm that I won <laughs> against, and like. Imagine being a bee. <laughs> Ass Lance, bro. <laughs> I mean, don't you think it'd be interesting? Like to talk to the sperm? Yeah, just no, like if they if you could like incubate the whoever got second place. Oh, I see. And just incubate. Maybe that's what a little brother is. Mm-hmm. Like he <laughs> he gets revenge. Okay, yeah. And he's like, "Bruh, I'm not finna like I I'm a, I knew I was going to get it someday. But I I just I want to know who who I ousted." Who I ran faster than. I'm just gonna let you follow this yeah. train of thought. Yeah, you can yeah. keep going with this. Yeah, you're just gonna let me bomb yeah. up here. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's fine. Let's see what else. I mean, I just think it'd be cool. Okay. What do, do you think your little sperm brother would be? It could be a sister. What do you think he would like? Be like, yeah, or sister. I don't know, but if I'm the one that won and I'm only five eight, they're probably small as shit. Uh-huh. They're probably like, like they gotta be whacker than me. Mm-hmm. It would be depressing if the one I beat was like an athlete or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> He's better than me in every way. Mm-hmm. My parents are like, oh. fuck. Oh, that'd be some Black Mirror shit, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs> dude, like nuts in a petri dish, and they give him like the two projections of like the sperms. Whoa. All right, so this is the one who technically should be born. Mm-hmm. However. <laughs> I'm standing there like, hey, what's up? And it's like, oh, he's such a nice guy. He's got my face. <laughs> Hi, Dad. But this is number two. Just, whoosh, holy shit. That guy's, kid's, that kid's I, D1. <laughs> holy fuck. Yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> well, but Dad. No, 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 100%. I'm going with the but athlete. But I'm number one. Yeah, but you're not going to make me rich. <laughs> but I'm number one. Well, what are you, a comedian, probably? I'm, I'm hey. <laughs> <laughs> this dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah, that was like hand clit. Hey man, this is hand clit hey, levels. Man. That was yeah, that was that was horrible. Someone would <clears throat> the guy who's cutting clips. By the way, there's a there's a TG uh, TMG highlights channel now. Yeah, where you can see we got a guy cutting little clips from the podcast. Yeah, and shout out to everybody. We got a lot of um, interest. A lot of people actually went and cut some clips. Yeah, uh, I want to say. Real quick, thank you to you all. Um, I wish we could hire all of you, mm-hmm. um, but our boy John uh, just put a little spice on it that that we was feeling. Yeah, no, he it's good. It's nice and clickbaity. Yep, and the little two minute clips is exactly what we wanted. And mm-hmm. one of them that he cut was the gills. <laughs> uh, sorry, the gills part. Yep, from uh, whatever episode that was. That was yep. like episode like ten or something, or maybe yeah. even earlier than that. I think it was earlier. Bro, <laughs> what, dude? Mm. You got gills. You have gills, bro. Oh, this is not chill. <laughs> I was laughing super hard. So go follow that. It's called TMG Podcast Highlights on YouTube. Yeah. And people are like, why'd you start a new channel? Why'd you, why not just upload to the <laughs> channel right now? And it's because there are there are reasons. We don't just like make channels to make channels. We thought about it a lot, and it was like we didn't want to fuck up the retention of the actual episodes. Yeah. And we didn't want to you know give someone upload access to... Because our I, actual one, because then I don't know. We say something he disagree with well, the, one day, and he deletes that, our whole fucking channel. There's that, and then like I don't, I don't want to fuck with the flow of people, like because you know you guys like listen pretty dedicated. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I don't want to fuck that up, like inundate you with video. Because there's some people who are like, I just someone commented like, great, now I don't have to sit through the whole thing. It's like then what? <laughs> yeah, I know. What do, you, what do you think a podcast is for? I know, I know. <laughs> well, but, but then again, we're also cutting highlights out of it, so we're kind of fueling that mentality yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I guess bit. so. Yeah. But no, it's cool. It's entertaining for me at least to go back and like watch funny moments, so. Yeah. Cuz I'm never I like whenever we upload it, I just kind of like <laughs> close my eyes. I'm like, "Oh, hope that was good." No, I know. That's very clear. Yeah. You don't even watch this shit before you upload it. The yeah. fucking Marcus episode on the Patreon no, that was just one. silent for the first minute. No, I was like, no. "What are my speakers broken?" No, the shit? last two, well, the one episode 23 I fucked up. But that one I uploaded two. And uh, I deleted the wrong one. So it's still my fault. However, I didn't intend for it to be there. God damn it. Yeah, I just got to get better. Just get just, better. just like skim through it one time before you upload it. All right. All right. I can do that. 
I could do that. <laughs> I know you're like Fortniteing with one hand. <laughs> Doing like a million with one things. hand and uh, yeah. Anyway, dude, this video I posted yesterday is popping off. Oh yeah, it's yeah, lit, dude. Yeah. It's absolutely getting tons of reshares. It is Litimus Maximus Bachelor <laughs> Nation. <laughs> Bachelor Nation. <laughs> Chris Harrison here. It's absolutely Litimus Maximus out here on the Cody Co channel, and it is absolutely popping around here. Popping the f the the dang the front off. door. Absolutely, we're popping off the front door. So mm -hmm. get in there and re like and reshare it. Yeah. Wait, did we miss all the Creatile shit? We did. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Ah, we can talk about that again. I wouldn't mind talking about that again. Actually, <laughs> I kind of like talking about it. But anyways, yeah, go check out the video I did. We did. We clowned on these two girls. Um, Girl Defined is called. It's like these yeah. two Christian girls that do like Christian videos. Some people took it as us clowning on Christianity. I kind of like the fact that. I mean, like I, I, there were a couple people that were like, they have a great message. Like you guys are just like, usually I like your videos, but yeah, I just, I, I just, I just think, um, yeah, we got a lot of feedback from Christian people. I think, um, I don't, I don't know if that ma the majority of Christians were like, yeah, this ain't, this ain't, uh, this ain't us. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people were like, I'm Christian, but these two girls are insane. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, that's right. Yeah. Like that's, Yeah. That's the mentality that I was hoping for. Yeah. Most people are like, these girls are just straight. If you're not religious, it's like, these girls are fucking crazy. Yeah. And if you are, it's like, these girls are crazy. Yeah. I Actually, one comment I saw was a, <laughs> it was a dude and he was like, uh, not cool. This advice is very healthy. Uh, this is pretty low. And I'm like, first of all, uh, you're not a girl. So I don't know <laughs> if you can really say what's healthy for a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, number two. I don't think it's healthy to tell girls that their feelings are wrong. I mean, it's just like, it's just like you're just going against fucking biology and it's yep. human nature. Like, yep. that's never healthy to yep. like bottle shit up and yep. be like, sorry, you can't think about guys. Yeah. You got I mean, yeah, now, now I actually am fucking around with, I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I, no. I really think like YouTube, there's a, like, a, you know, a very large young female audience on YouTube. They come across this shit. Well, also it's like. <clears throat> Like some people were like, oh, I understood the point they're making. They just didn't say it well. It's like then they should take a minute to write down what they're saying instead of ramble for 10 minutes and then have bloopers where they go, oh, I'm saying nothing and this is retarded. I it's know. like if you want to make a point, write that shit down and think about it. Yeah. But like don't fucking like they can't get hurt. If like, well, that's not what I meant to say. It's like, well, that's what's out there. Mm -hmm. and, and you're clearly fine with that. So can I can I play something that I'm actually going to feel a little bit bad about? What? So after after the video, people started sending me, um, oh yeah, a video from her Instagram. Page I already know what you're going on. I of, already know what it's going to be of her boyfriend. Yeah, serenading her. Oh, bro, I don't know if we can do this. I feel <laughs> nah. I, I, this feels targeted as fuck. What I, do you mean it feels targeted? I mean it's not. It's not really. It's out there. It's public. Um, yeah, fuck it. Go. I'm for not. It. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm okay. going to I'm going to present this without comment. Okay. I'm just going to play it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's all it is. Here, I got to find it first, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Keep well, basically, yeah, we did this video, and people are tagging us in a little a little tune that uh, one of the girl's boyfriends sang to her. And he sent this video to her. <laughs> this one. It's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> Good morning, Becky. You're going to rock this day. Good morning, Becky. Everything's gonna be okay. You're in my head, you're in my heart. All through the day, I hate being a part. Could you imagine getting that on? <laughs> I can't play it anymore. I feel yeah. too bad. Could you imagine getting that though? I mean, like on iMessage? Yeah. Like yeah. here. Like here's here. A song to start your day. Here's, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, uh. Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, knock it off. Go to work. <laughs> uh, fuck I feel bad now hey, I mean we can cut that part out no, may, I mean maybe we're, we were we were <clears throat> wrong uh, she was like oh I've had guys obsessed <clears throat> with me that's a good candidate right there yeah bro's writing music for her that's but true. actually I think that also kind of falls in like I just the like you category yeah it's not really obsessed yet yeah um <laughs> Oh man! There's another one too where it's like they're both in the car. <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. And he's singing directly to her, <laughs> and she's like sitting there smiling, and it's she like I love through that whole thing. Uh, it's like I love when so and so plays me music. And it's like, 
Oof. I don't think anyone likes this. <laughs> it just seems like an act, you know? Oh, Who yeah. Who are you trying to convince? Yeah, that you guys are in love. You're yeah, just setting yeah. up the camera I and getting your little serenade on. I don't know, man. So, yeah, Create Tyler's new video. <laughs> Absolute heater. Absolute fucking heater. He Shit actually things. He actually posted. Yeah. And um, the post, it, it went like this, right? He's like, in the beginning of the video, it's like, <clears throat> I, um... I wanted to, my, my friend and I, I've been in Los Angeles now for about three months and we woke up one morning and we thought, man, we want to go on a trip, but this is, this is not going to be an average trip. All right. We want to give back. Giving so, back. Just it, like that. We woke up one morning, we bought two tickets to Mexico and we were gone the next day. Yo, he need, he needs a hype man. Yeah. Like I wanted to give back, give back motherfucker. <laughs> We wanted to go on a, a much different trip. <laughs> this shit different. <laughs> it's also like it's also like he's he's building it up like it's some epic charity trip. It's yeah, like, right. Dude, you're just going to like yeah. You know what I mean? So we woke up and we decided we were going to go two hours away <laughs> to oh, Mexico. Yeah, when he said that, I was like, man, what? <laughs> I know. I was like, just. Not to say doing charity work in Mexico is not a good thing. It's just no, like, but it's like, like this big epic journey. And like, like we're leaving at like to, four in the morning. It's like, we're flying to Mexico City. That's like an hour <laughs> and a half. Just take it's the so 10 o'clock flight. And then, so the whole thing is that they're going to go like buy school supplies for this mansion. Or sorry, for this uh, school. Yeah. And help these kids out. And the first half of the half of the video is like a mansion reveal for the place that they're staying at and, and wherever they are in Mexico. Yeah, the amount of time like, they we drove two hours from the airport <laughs> and we finally arrived at an unmarked gate. I couldn't find the button till and there's like this moment where he's like trying to find the button on the wall and he like <laughs> left it in because to him that seems genuine. Yeah, right. It's like oh, I'm struggling with something. Look at look at <laughs> check it out. I'm one of you guys. Look at I struggle with things too. Isn't this so quirky and normal the way you struggle to find the entrance the garage, to your mansion to in your Mexico? Ma yeah, yeah. So he finally finds the button. And it's like, we were staying in Casa whatever. It has a name. Like, the house has a fucking name. <laughs> like, it's like Casa Gargantuan or something like that. And all of a sudden, it's like this epic fucking drone shot and like a house reveal. And it's like this giant mansion. It's like, dude, you went to Mexico to do charity work. Yeah. And you're staying outside the city in this fucking <laughs> luxurious mega mansion. Do you not see the irony in that at all? How great would it have been if, like... <laughs> The end of the video was just like a one clip. He's like, I had such a good time helping the kids. It's like one, it's like one thing of him just like handing off the colored pencils, and then that's <laughs> yeah. it. Like, there's no fucking footage of the actual work, which so he funny. which he includes. But I, I, no, the whole and then he like does it. So he's like, and then we we bought one thousand dollars worth of uh, school supplies. And there's another like genuine moment where he's like riding on top of the school supplies. He's, Whoa! He like oh, almost falls off. Look at me! I'm like a normal person making mistakes. And then he, wow, just fucking hit myself in the face. And then he goes to the school, and and there's just all these slow mo shots of kids smiling. And he like he like interviews like six of the kids. He's like, "Are you happy?" And he and by the end, he's like, he's like, "What about you? Are you happy?" And it's like, dude, we get it, man. Like, yeah. What are you trying to do here? He's what like a, pressing these kids to make sure they're happy and to make sure they're saying it for the video so that we all know he's a good dude. What a what a what a awesome way to spend his parents' money. It's so funny. <laughs> filming himself bringing colored pencils. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, making it rain colored pencils on these oh, man. small Mexican children. <laughs> he just It was beautiful to see the kids see color for the first time <laughs> in his torn jeans. Comes up on these kids like, have you ever heard of Robin's Egg Blue? <laughs> Perhaps Forest Green. <laughs> these are colors I'm sure you have never heard of because you don't have Robins or Forest out here. As Kriya Tyler, I want to bring knowledge and color to your life. <laughs> be so he, did, he just believes that the kids are, he's like brought color to their life. Also, yeah, oh. <laughs> It's unbelievable to me. That these Mexican children have, have never seen color. They've only, and for me to bring colored pencils into their life and to have them draw with color. They've only for had the first lead time. pencils. Yeah, so they like see in Korea black. Until Tyler came to town. <laughs> Was just absolutely humbling to me. It's exactly what I set out for on this trip to Mexico. 
Once I was done with my charity work, I got the fuck out of that dirty <laughs> ass town and went back to Casa Blowjob. He was in there for like 30 minutes. He didn't even want to touch those kids. Yeah. He was like, yeah. <laughs> just like threw it at him yeah. and got out of there. Hey, yeah. How happy are you right now? Just say, say it. Say <laughs> it. Say it, you little shit. I'm so happy. Okay. Thank See, you. There you go. Thank you. Very Jesus. good. Moving on. Ungrateful little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he he'll probably get up and be like, Oh, no matter what I do, they criticize me. It's like, it's how you do it, man. I just, I don't, I don't understand how you don't like have that, like the basic amount of self-awareness to yeah. be like, yeah. maybe I shouldn't film myself in this luxurious mansion Yeah, right. while before. I'm on a charity trip. Yeah. Like it's just fucking. Yeah. It's stupid as hell. Also, if it's about the charity, what, shouldn't it be about like, I feel like immediately in my mind, like. You give them color pencils, you know, well, why don't they draw you something? And then you take back the art and you're like, oh, these kids are so creative. And mm. I'm, you know, like there's <laughs> even the way I said that was like super dismissive. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, I made a picture. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> wow. They actually. Oh, they can color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lo and behold, they can make art. Mm. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. It's just such a stupid fucking thing. I know. At least when, like, when Jake or Logan sets out to do one of these big, like, <clears throat> ostentatious, like, look at me, I'm a good person thing, it's always, like, on a large scale where it's like, all right, there's a certain degree of commitment there. Mm -hmm. Not that it makes them any less shitty, but it's like, okay, there's a, there was an attempt, I mm -hmm. guess. Well, Korea Tyler, for me, <laughs> to buying color pencils and flying to Mexico is probably the lowest effort charity. Yeah. That yeah. was the equivalent of like just going somewhere and dropping off cans at a soup kitchen. Yeah. And they're like, do you want to meet the guy? Uh, no, nah, I'm fine. Yeah. And drive off in your R8. Yeah. I mean, he's monetizing it. Like yeah. he's making, he made money off yeah. this. Probably more money than he spent on school supplies. <laughs> Easily. Easily. He's like, wow, this trip to Mexico <laughs> has truly opened my eyes. I didn't even know that Mexico had children. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize Mexico even had schools. <laughs> Wow. Very humbling. <laughs> I hope to give back. <laughs> I did not realize Mexico was not Cancun. And and, the, and one of the one of the uh, uh oh. Oh motherfucker. I swear to God. I swear to God. I thought you turned the shit off. I thought I fucking did too. Hold, hold. Don't press space bar. Uh what else? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and then he goes. So in the beginning of the video, he posted on Monday. He said he was going to start posting on Sundays. That was the big thing, right? And you know with his with his his shtick is that he announces he's going to start posting and then he just never does, right? That's what he's like known for. And so he goes, all right, Sundays are the day that I'm going to be posting weekly episodes of my new show. Show. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he goes, in order to keep my word, um, my friend and I have a deal that I'm going to get. Uh, one letter of his name tattooed on my leg every time I don't post on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Like he he has to he has to threaten himself, tattooing his friend's name on his leg to nah. do something once a week. No, nah, that's that's just an, wow. What first the fuck of all, just happened? He sounded like <laughs> <laughs> a fucking alien crawled out. Of here. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, wow. <laughs> Can't wait till that goes what happened to me there. <laughs> Fucking the Illuminati right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones almost came out right there. Yeah. They're going to be posting once a week. No, nah, no. Nah, that's just an excuse so he can get his buddy's name tattooed on his lower back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Oops, Michael, I missed it. <laughs> it's just like, dude, what else are you doing, man? It's one video a week. Yeah. It ain't it's, that hard. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Mm-mm. One fucking video a week, and you have to, like, you, you... Especially when he just does, like, oh, like, he he does voiceover for half of it. I know, it's not so even, So you like, can just film him, like, doing bullshit, and then just say, like, this week in Los Angeles, I was thinking about, how do people get poor? <laughs> so I thought I'd go around <laughs> poor people and observe why they're poor. And then he's just like in a fucking For 20 minutes. Yeah. And then he's just in a middle income area. Yeah. Like, so what is it like? So here we are in downtown LA. <laughs> no, here we are in the Santa Clarita Valley. <laughs> the median income is $70,000. And I'm wondering how is everyone here? So poor. 
<laughs> he just walks up to a random dude. So how do you survive on what little money you have? He's like, motherfucker, I have my what? own. Sir, how do you drive this Saturn every day? What's uh, it like to uh, not drive a G-Wagon? Uh, I just... is do Does it have even serious XM radio? <laughs> how do you manage? <laughs> you gotta be the dumbest rich person on earth. No, no, no. There's, there's plenty dumber than him, but this is such a. I don't What's know, it man. like to not drive a G wagon? <laughs> so, explain to me what a hand me down is. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it's that like when your father starts an oil company and gives it to you. <laughs> no, Dick, it's a sweater. <laughs> I have never received a sweater that wasn't from a store. I learned something today in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm pumped for his. It's 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 also I know we fucking now we've clowned on him for a long time, but yeah, it's so funny. Like the titles in his the title cards in his videos. Yeah, it's like create Tyler um, weekly episodes <laughs> copyright sign. Oh no, for whatever reason, and then it, free admission, <laughs> and then in the top left, um, oh, it's something else really weird. It it's something like it's Jay Alvarez language. It's like. It's like people trying to craft sentences to sound smart, like alternative yeah. or something or smart, yeah. and they just completely miss the mark. Bro. Like, why are you using the copyright symbol? <laughs> he put, it makes no sense. He put Los Angeles 2018 copyright. I'm like, oh, so this video belongs to, to 2018 Los Angeles? <laughs> to the city of Los Angeles Shit. in 2018? Shit got to be renewed. Like, it's just... Like he tries to be quirky, but like he's not smart enough to do that. So yeah. it just completely doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> like that shit works when it makes a little bit of artistic sense. Right. But free admission yeah. to a weekly TV show makes no sense at all. Yeah. That's that's called a local cable, my guy. Mm -hmm. And that's the Internet now. <sighs> it's just so funny, funny, dog. It's just funny. Yeah. It's It's crazy how like gear has gotten so good. And like the most basic camera makes everything you do look interesting. Yeah, all you got to do now is buy that Sony. This is an A7S or it's an A6500 or some kind of Canon. It's just like it does the work for you. Yeah, it's it's so funny, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm fucking lagging. I'm hungover as fuck. You crashing? I'm hungover as shit. I know. I said that after the cut. Yeah. After we cut. Oh yeah, that's right. I um we went to the Quinn concert last night. Shout out Quinn. The boy Big Quinn. Big shout out. Quinn 92. He, uh, he played fuck, a great show. Played he, a great show. He fucks with the vision, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I didn't, so I've been a big fan of him for a while. I really, really like his music. And like his last album, I listened to it from start to finish. Yeah. Not a bad track on that thing. Yeah. And so my buddy was like, he's playing in LA. I was like, dope, let's get tickets. Got tickets, showed up at the show. And like three people were like, yo, can I get a picture? And I was like, for sure. Someone tweeted it at him and he was like he was like whoa like when did this happen or something like that and then he dm'd me on instagram and was like yo i really like the cringe videos that you do with noel fuck we yeah. should be friends or something and i was like and i was like fuck yeah this isn't a flex or anything it's just like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> yeah dude so i was at the weekends concert and yeah, then he yeah. was like yo cody was there yeah i'm like i guess i'm friends with the weekend now. yeah and i'm like it's crazy how <laughs> fucking famous i am and like dope you know it, what I mean? It was really tight on tour when people would walk up for the VIP and then be like, can I get one with just Cody? I'm like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that but, happened like once. No, I happened a few times. No way. <laughs> yeah. That's, I was like, it's cool. No, I'll go. I'll just go. I'll suck my own dick. Yeah. But he played a great <clears throat> show. And in, I, I just told that story because it's fucking bizarre yeah. to like go to a show and then wake up from like a DM from yeah. the guy. Yeah. Being like, yo, what up? I like what you do too. Yeah, it's weird. Like in LA, it's like people are there's people doing so many things. You don't know who is inspired by who. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like when I talked to, I had Ramzoid and Aries on my podcast yesterday. Aries, Aries, um, producers, musicians that I've been watching for a long time on YouTube. And Ramzoid was like, he was like, dude, yeah. When you hit me up, he was like, all my friends were freaking out. They all watch oh, your shit. shit. <laughs> and I'm like. And he had no idea that I was so into his videos. Oh, weird. no idea. Yeah, because you don't know unless you reach out right. and be like, "Yo, big fan. Yeah. You're an inspiration." You know. Yeah. Um, oh my bad. So what the fuck was I even saying? Oh yeah. So then in the middle of the show last night, he has this like you know like moment where he you know there's no music and he was like, "I used to be working this dead end job and you know I quit, decided to follow my." 
passion, which is music. And if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be standing in front of a sea full of beautiful people. And and all of us were like, it's kind of, a, and people were cheering. Yeah. He's like, so follow your dreams. And people were cheering and, and me and Devin kind of look at each other like, it's kind of a... <laughs> I don't know if it's the best message. <laughs> like, like our shit, the shit that I'm not scared to say is, is don't be scared to be creative. Yeah. Try new things, yeah. whatever. Right. Yeah. But essentially telling someone to quit their job <laughs> to pursue what they're, is not a great, like average, probably the chances are there's like, like an average of like one person in that whole audience of 2000 people that has the potential to make it in music. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that, that makes me think of um an episode of this podcast Kill Tony mm-hmm. where they like record people doing stand up live. Okay. At, at the comedy store they give them like a minute and like give them some feedback and a lot of dudes have gotten up there and been like yeah, I just a lot of dudes. Dudes. Yeah. A lot of dudes. Yeah, yeah, which I a lot, love. A lot of dudes which is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll get up there and they say, yeah, I just quit my job. So I'm doing comedy full time. And every comedian is like, they just like wrap their fucking don't do that. Yeah, like yeah, they're, yeah. they're just like, you need money. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't come from this. Yeah. So don't quit your job. <laughs> One dude I remember, he was like, y'all understand? You hear me? You hear me loud and clear? Do not quit your job. Everyone's like, oh, I didn't know we signed up for a fucking Tony Robbins. Seminar. Somebody's got to say that shit though. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. People are like, yeah, just follow your stomach or follow your gut and just do it. Yeah, and follow it's like, your that gu- doesn't work out like 99% yeah. of the time. And I'm not saying don't follow your passion. I'm saying follow it like and in a smart way. Like pay pursue the bills. it, but just work like, you know, work two jobs for a while. Yeah. As in like do your real job and then do your passion as <laughs> if it was your job. Do that for a while. For a while. And then if that starts working, great. But don't fucking. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. eventually, like, after, like, YouTubing for a while, I was like, okay, I think I can make a go of this, right? But yeah. I, for a while, it was like, I was working two jobs. Yep. You know, we were both posting. I was posting yep. three times a week yeah. with a full-time job yep. for, like, a year. And I was trying to do fucking SNL. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah, you were doing sketches every the fucking week. The hardest fucking... All right, yeah. I, you know what's funny? Like, how much of an undertaking... Like, I used to, like, beat up myself, like... um. Like I'd just be alone and I'd undo a thing of lotion and just beat up on myself. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. I thought I was gonna crack you with that one. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get you to break. Hell no. <laughs> I, but I used to like get down like <clears throat> oh, man, I'm not working hard enough or whatever. But I'm like, yo, SNL has a fucking writer's room. It's like ten of them. Yeah. And they get dedicated time to be like, how about this idea? Yeah. And there's a whole fucking team of people that will go source the shit produce it like all right cool and it's like the fact that i was trying to do that as one person every week Mm. fucking plus work a job and get on stage and like make little peripheral content yeah all right man we get it you work hard (laughs) you gotta suffer jesus i'm friends with quinn so (laughs) who's the real winner here i don't know man i'm famous as shit (laughs) yeah i don't i don't get that but shout out my guy, Young Mari 200. Yeah. That's my bro right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah. Shout um, out to Quinn. Um, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll hang out with him. Yeah. And be like, hey, man, that part in your show about telling everyone that they should be musicians. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's not like he, I mean, like it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I just thought it was a funny thing to think about. Yeah, sure. Hey, it's, <laughs> I was imagining him being like, hey, everybody in here. Do music <laughs> and quit your jobs, all right? This is the best shit ever. I'm an accountant, though. What, are you sure? <laughs> Do it. Yes, I'm I, telling you. I've never you. I'm looking at you right I, there. Okay. Button down shirt. Okay. Did you come straight from work? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you did? Do I call my boss? Right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do it right now. Actually, right. here, fuck it. Throw your phone up here. I'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Hey. Hey, yeah. Hey, this is Quinn92. I'm on stage at the Fonda Theater. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, And uh, your employee, what's uh-huh. your name? Michael. Michael is here with me. Okay. Buttoned down. He okay. works for you, right? Sure. He's yeah. an accountant? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. He wants me to tell you, go fuck yourself. He quits. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. <laughs> Piano <laughs> lessons or something I would start with, probably. And then the then the, the CFO on the other line. Oh. Hey, profits just went up, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and tack on the hours to the other guys. <laughs> yeah. Capitalism, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this layoff is going to be a lot easier. <laughs> he made the choice for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, frankly, that's kind of the shit I meant. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck, I was like, I want to talk about something. How much time we got? Where are we at? I'm like, 
<laughs> Don't like crashing, dude. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> now we've been going for almost two hours because of this fucking... I know, this fucking issue. I'm not going to get mad over it. I'm not going to get yeah, mad. Yeah. I'm going to stay chill. You go chill? You go zen? I'm going to stay chill Yo, speaking it. of being chill and, like, being spiritual and shit... Everyone go watch Wild Wild Country. That fucking series on Netflix is fire. What is it? It's about the Rajneeshi community. It was like a... a um, he's now... Is that the one that Create Tyler went and did charity work for? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, this shit is... So this came after um, like the... Uh, oh, what's the dude's name? Don't, don't Drink the Kool-Aid guy. Jim oh. Jones came after Jim Jones and uh, it was a dude. He started like a little ashram and ashram, however you want to say it in India. Then he came to Oregon and like the, the documentary goes on like the path and like how he got to Oregon. And basically like he wanted to start like a huge commune and it was going to be like 50,000 people there. It's fucking crazy. And it just goes into like what it, cause there was a local town that they kind of got into beef with. And then it just devolved into like this insane legal battle. Uh, it's Wait, like, so it's a cult? So that's the thing is like it presents it in a very even way and it like it kind of leaves it up to you. It's like, would you call it a cult? I would definitely say it's a cult following. Mm. Um, the thing that like kind of. Is it like religion? No, it's, it's kind of like it's like it's like Eastern. I, the dude's name. So now like. By by the time of his death, he mm. went by Osho. Okay, um, so that's the name he went by. So his teachings, I I don't fully know them. I didn't listen to any of them. Um, the thing that makes him a little different is like, you know, spirituality and stuff kind of leans into like abstinence, mm. and that's like a core philosophy is like abstinence. And and he was <laughs> known as like the sex guru. Okay, so it's like 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 meditate to like you know I don't know become more centered and, and don't give in to like sexual desire and stuff mm. like that's a principle or whatever in like other spiritual teachings. It's just a common one, I think throughout religion. Okay. Um, so Osho was like known as a sex guru cause he was like, no embrace sex, learn how to make sex like fulfilling and this and that. So the perception people had, which I think rightfully so was just like, this is just like a sex cult. Like yeah. People were like, we believe in being free people and yeah. self-sustaining. And also we fuck in public in our areas all the time. So really, yeah. Like just he's like, he's like, um, it's not okay. We practice abstinence here unless <laughs> it's, it's me. with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> then it's all good. I used to joke about that shit. Yeah. I had a fucking coworker. We joked about like, like just st like a dude starting like a yoga practice where he has sex with other people's women. It's, like, it's to get closer to God. <laughs> and she is very far away from God, Michael. And if you want someone to save her, I can do it. I'm a fucking swami, sir. <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. Nah, so it, it there's a there's way more depth to it. And like, you know, oh, dude, he, he was an interesting character because he has like this spiritual crowd following him, but mm -hmm. he's got like 20 Rolls Royces. Yeah, and just like he's got hella money. He's like in with Hollywood people. They'll gift him like hundred thousand dollar Rolexes and shit. So this is a documentary. Yeah. Damn, I gotta check this shit out. Oh, dude, it's fire. What's Th it called? Wild Wild Country. Okay, I'm gonna watch that shit. There's yeah. a little, little rec little Netflix reco. Yeah, a little, little reco. Yeah, for you, for y'all. We should probably wrap it up, dude. I'm. What time is it? Dying. What time is it? We're at hour ten. Oh, we are. Yeah. Holy shit! Wow. Okay. Um. Hope this one was good. I think we're a little burned from the shows. No, I it was it's just we lost half an hour of good that's shit. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But I'm fucking gay, so <laughs> Hey, uh, again, big big thank you to everybody who came out to the shows. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. uh so dope and I can't wait. Like I'm we're hopeful that we'll be back out like not soon, but like that's on the horizon, yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Later maybe later in the year or Early. But I no, there's there's things on the table right now. Yeah, these went really well, and people seem to really like it. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. um, we had yeah, we had some industry professionals who uh, liked what we were doing. Yeah, and so they want to put some steam behind it. So who knows? Yeah, shit never really works out in this industry. Yeah, but, you uh, never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. So but, thank you guys for coming. We appreciate you. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Peace. Bye.